Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and in our 11th video of our Bash scripting, we are going to take a look at select statement again, but this time it's going to be with the case statement. So if you remember from our uh, previous video, uh, we created the script uh, with the select statement and we used the if and then conditions. But in today's script, um, we are going to see that how we can use the select statement with the case statement. Uh, so let's start. So in order to show you how we can uh, use this case statement with the select statement, let's create a script and we will call it, uh, let's say, select case.sh. As always, we will use the shebang header, bin bash. Okay, and if you remember, we use the PS3 um, equals to let's say we would like to see the logs uh, this time so select the logs okay then we use the select statement and then the variable uh, you can use here any variable I'm going I'm using var so select this var or variable in and now we create the menus so we have log of four messages we have log for yum because I'm using center seven you can use here anything uh, hardware then I'm going to use logins and then the last we will use quit so the menu will have these items uh, messages yum hardware login and quit okay and then the do uh, statement and now we will use here the case statement so if you remember last time uh, we instead of case we use if and then condition but this time uh, it will clear you that how you can use the case statement with select so case and the variable which we just selected in okay so now the cases messages tail slash war slash log slash messages and we end here the case statement. guys if you don't remember how to uh, create this uh, case statement or these uh, case scripts uh, you can just always go back to my videos where I explained you how you can use the case statement okay okay now for the jump case go to tail war log yum.log case closed login we'll just use last case closed for hardware we'll use tail var log slash d message and for quit we will use echo goodbye and we are not going to close our case here we'll use exit zero and now case close and for everything else asterisk um, echo invalid option and now we will close the case with the opposite ESAC and we'll close the do with done so I hope that everything is good and so let's save our changes chmod plus x select case dot sh okay now let's hope that everything works fine perfect so let's select first 
anything else which is not available in the menu perfect invalid option what about one okay so it gave me this uh, the messages from messages uh, log then you can press enter to bring back the menu just press the enter and it will bring back the menu okay two okay the jump logs are there three hardware logs d messages perfect four okay so four is not working let's see why it's not working we can press five to quit perfect okay only one option is not working so let's see why uh, select yes maybe some space issue or something so option number four shoot Oh. oh, sorry, logins is not working. That is the reason because we changed these. Like, I need to remove this from here because this is the th uh, third option instead. Okay. Okay, I hope now it should work. Let's see. Perfect. Now it's working. The messages. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, perfect. Everything is working. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This was actually part 2 of our 10th video. And, uh, like, I hope you guys have a better understanding how the case uh, statement works with, or like the select statement works with case and the conditional statements like such as if and then. Okay guys, so uh, next video is going to be functions and I hope that that's going to be our last video of our bash scripting series and I think that in our next uh, series we will go back to our uh, Linux desktop edition or maybe we can start python for linux admins so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to my youtube channel and best of luck